State regulators are giving the go-ahead to a controversial mining project near Minnesota's Iron Range. Polymet Mining now has permission to move forward with a $1 billion copper nickel mine. The Minnesota Department of Natural Resources granted permits today after 14 years of review. The open pit mine would uh, also refurbish part of an old steel plant. It will produce copper, nickel, and other precious metals. As Reg Chapman reports, it is expected to create around 300 jobs, but not everyone is happy about it. I think it's safe to say that no project in the history of the DNR has been more thoroughly evaluated. After more than 14 years of review, public input, analysis, negotiation, and amendments, the DNR has issued several permits for PolyMets North Mets mining project in northeast Minnesota. Including the permit to mine, six water appropriation permits, two dam safety permits, one work in public waters permit, and one endangered species taking permit. Also included a financial assurance plan and wetland replacement plan. The funds will make sure the DNR can reclaim and close the mine and plant site if the project fails. It is intended to ensure the taxpayers are not on the hook to pay for closure of the site. The project was discussed at several town hall meetings, this one back in February in Aurora. The DNR addressed concerns of air and water quality, but for many the debate has been about job versus the environment. Environmental groups say mining near Lake Superior poses some unique risk. This is talking about s several thousand, six thousand or more acres of wetlands at the headwaters of the St. Louis River, which is the largest tributary in the United States to Lake Superior, the largest freshwater source in the world. It poses a unique risk and a unique threat to that precious resource. Minnesota Center for Environmental Advocacy's Aaron Clements says there are several lawsuits challenging the land exchange in the environmental impact statements. He and others believe mining for copper and nickel deposits is a gamble and could pollute our water for hundreds of years. Reg Chapman, WCCO, 4 News. The project still requires water and air quality permits along with other local approval. They are expected to go through uh, around the end of the year.